Okay, welcome to section 10 of the jewelry design in ZBrush course. So in this section, section 10, we'll be looking and we'll have our first look, our proper look at stone fittings. So we'll be fitting a stone into a ring using this kind of clasp system. Now this is an art deco style ring that I wanted to do that will introduce us to using different tools to produce this kind of ring inside of ZBrush. Um, it looks fairly complicated, but it's actually quite easy to do. All right, so you have that with the clasps actually going into the diamond. Then the final version was with the clasps out. Now the reason I did the clasps out so that the diamond fit down, and then you can actually pull these in on top of the ring and fit it. So you've got two versions there that can be moved apart in the ring. All the assets are supplied, including all of our stone setting sizes and stuff and I'll be going through the sizing, how to taper, how to do the boolean, how to do the chevrons on the side. Um, we'll be creating that and boolean those away, adding these side pieces and doing our mount top for our ring. So you can see inside here, if I turn that off, we have those little mountings in there. Um, Pretty cool, so this is our first real look at stone setting. We're gonna get more technical with this, but section 10 opens us up to stone setting, which I know a lot of you guys are interested in. You sure saw the Whittleback design in the last uh, lecture, and that just uses a flat amber stone in there. But this one is actually stone setting properly, so um, definitely a one to look at for sure. Um, and I guess a lot of people are gonna be interested in that. This particular stone is a round five mil stone, okay, five mil across. So sizes and everything else for this section 10 is this Art Deco style ring inside ZBrush. This is for my jewelry design in ZBrush course. Find out more about this course, read the descriptions below for you YouTube users. Okay, and um, yeah, it's quite good. I love this uh, lecture because it, I, I think it really defines how easy it is to create this sort of stuff in ZBrush, um, whereas you might have thought you can't do this sort of stuff. Uh, it's really good and it sh I show you an easy workflow for doing that. And it's the first stage of building our stone designs inside of ZBrush, which I know a lot of you guys are interested in. Again, with this course comes all the assets and our community of brilliant jewelers from around the world that all help everybody else so it's a real community feel so get on that facebook group if you're not part of it already to be part of it you need to just join the course and then you'll see a link to my group okay guys so that's section 10 on the jewelry design in zbrush course